so what last time we talked about how to do construction you know where to go right you go to uh, helpful geometry websites go up here and click constructions okay and when you do this will pop up and so go down to triangles centers and circles first thing we're going to do is this here we're going to click the very last one what we're going to do is if you have a triangle okay we're going to put a uh, circle around this triangle so we're going to put a triangle inside a circle and that's going to be construction number eight if you I mean number ten uh, if you're following along okay uh, from the book but the number doesn't really it's not the important part what's important is that you know how to do this construction. What we're going to do is we're going to put a circle, okay, so that the triangle fits right inside a circle. In other words, three of these vertices will hit the triangle once. Does that make sense? You will have a circle so that when you draw a circle, the vertices A, B, C will hit the circle, right? And you will put a circle around this. So let's see how, let's take a look at how we do this, okay? We're gonna put a circle inside this triangle, okay? So, thank you. So first, Turns out, what you need to do is you need to find the center of the circle that you're going to draw, right? Because this, once you find the center, you're done. Because all you have to do is, if you know where the center of the circle is, what would the radius be? Okay, uh, how about... Okay, how about... Dylan, what do you think? Sorry? Okay, so if I, if I know where the center is, right? Well, let me show you how to find the center then. And then maybe, maybe I'll ask that question in a minute. So let's take a look at it. Turns out, to find the center of the circle that would hit this triangle, in other words, in order to um, put this triangle inside a circle, to find the center, all you have to do is find the uh, perpendicular bisector of each of these sides. Okay. And when you draw a perpendicular bisector of each of the sides, those perpendicular bisector would hit at one point. And guess what that point will be? The center. That's going to be the center. Is that okay? So do you guys remember how to draw a perpendicular bisector of a segment? Yes. Okay. So if you do, let's see if you're right. So we're going to, first of all, draw those two arcs from A with the same radius and go to B and do the same. Basically, once you do that and you're going to draw, right, connect those two points, guess what? These two lines are perpendicular because... What have we really drawn here? Uh, what kind of, okay, from A to this intersection to B, and B to this intersection here? Rhombus. It's a rhombus. And what do you guys know about the diagonals of a rhombus? Perpendicular. They're perpendicular, and there's your perpendicular segment. Guess what, we're gonna do the same thing for? Other sides. Other sides, okay, so they're gonna choose to do it on BC. Okay, so there it goes. And these are really, uh, again, these are diagonals of the, uh, rhombus and when you do there you go it intersects at one point right if you want to be really accurate if your if yours doesn't come out really nicely do the same thing for AC also it'll intersect at this point okay if you did it correctly I mean not this point right here where the two right perpendicular bisector meet does that make sense this time they don't do it here but like I said for your own uh, you should you might want to do that to make sure that you have the right center now Dylan my question is since this is the center I'm telling you this is how, how would you find the radius then? Because we're done. We, all you have to do is do what? From the center, what would the radius be? Yeah, from center to B. Also from center to? A. A or C. It doesn't matter because it's got to hit all three vertices, correct? Okay, so we're going to do that now. And look at what the, the, they go to C. It doesn't matter because it's going to hit all three, or, three of those vertices. Does that make sense? So all we need is, so this construction, all you need is perpendicular bisector of all the three segments, and then draw the, uh, the circle using that radius. Is that okay? Can you do something like this now? Yeah. Go ahead, I want you to all try. Okay, I'll give you the compass in. Hold on, I'll give you the compass. So, the so next construction that I want to talk about is we're going to do the opposite. You're going to have a triangle, you're going to put a circle in on inside that triangle. So that one is right here, uh, the second to last one, okay. It says inscribe circle, okay. Uh, here is what we do. So here's a triangle that we want to put a circle inside of this, okay? Uh, turns out, again, you have to find the center of the circle that we need, right? Yeah. That we need to draw. Uh, to find the center of the circle, 
the previous one we need a perpendicular bisector now we don't need that we need uh, we need to bisect each of these vertices <coughs> bisect these angles uh, okay so do you guys remember how to bisect oh. angles of a yeah. Did you get, you remember how to bisect an angle? Yeah, I know. Okay, I good. Let's see if you, this is, okay, so first, what we do is we use the compass to uh, mark these, and then do the same. Now, with the same, you could use the same uh, radius. Find the intersection of those two, right? If you do this, guess what? You basically have what? What do you have here? This is a, yeah, and what, what, so what kind of, Quadrilateral would this be? Rhombus. It's a rhombus again. Rhombus. Okay. And what do the diagonals of a rhombus do to the angle? The yeah, it bisects the angle. angle. So there you go. We connect. Okay. And we just bisected the angle. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to do the same thing for the other two. Uh, so let's do one for here. Basically, you're drawing a rhombus, aren't you? Because all four, the si four sides have congruent length. And connect. It's going to intersect that point. Now, uh, if you want to be more accurate as before, you do the same thing for this third side. It will connect, right? It will intersect that right, right at that point. Is that okay? Uh, they're not going to do this. Now, this construction requires one more step than the previous one. Because last one, we found the uh, perpendicular bisect of each, each of the sides and found the center, right? And we were able to draw a circle around that triangle. Now, this is kind of opposite. We have to put a circle inside this triangle. We need one more information. Just knowing the center doesn't really help us too much. What, do we, what else do we need in this case? Two people see it? I want you to discuss with Guru. What, what else do we need in this case? What did your group come up with? How about... Uh, Kristen, what did your group come up with? We need to find the radius of this circle, right? Because right now, we have the center. Right? That's where the two angle bisectors meet. But we need to find the radius of this circle, right? So that it hits each of these sides how many times? Once. Once. So guess what? Each of these sides of the triangle are the tangent to this circle, correct? Yeah. Right? Because it's going to hit, hit exactly once, right? Mm -hmm. uh, to find the radius, turns out, uh, if you think about it, from the center to each of these sides, if it hits it exactly once, it must be the... What kind of segment? It's got to be the Tangent. radius. Yeah. If okay, think about this. If what would the radius be? Where would the radius be? If it if it's going to hit each oh. of the side once? Yes, sir. We need one perpendicular. Yeah, it's gonna be. It has to be the perpendicular segment from the center to each of the sides. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because if right, if it has to hit exactly once, remember that's a distance from point to a line, right? If it's gonna hit it exactly once. Right? That's the shortest distance right, from this uh, point to the side. So do you guys remember how to draw a perpendicular segment from a point outside a line? Yeah. yeah. We basically draw again a? No, it is just simply, that's the center. You just simply draw a rhombus again. From here, right? This will be the two sides of the rhombus, and you go up here, right? And <coughs> construct a rhombus, and guess what? Once you connect these, you're going to have a perpendicular yeah, and I see what you mean by construction number nine. That's what we did, right? For majority. Okay, so that is the uh, perpendicular segment from the center to the one of the side. Now, if you want to be more accurate, that radius should be the same on the other side, right? The other two sides. Okay, if you want to be accurate, try those two. Okay, uh, but that's the center. Now, all you have to do is grab your compass. That's the radius and draw a circle. It'll hit each of the sides exactly once and you have a circle inside a triangle. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. go ahead, everybody try now. Okay. Okay.